Better surrender while you have the chance.
thousand wonders. Fight is one! I'll go easy this time. Feeling spiffy? Come on, my turn. Ordained by the stars. Those stars give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> A thousand wonders. And fight is gone. <laughs> Time. Show no mercy. Here. It's thunder! Ordained by the stars. Those stars give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Time for the master stroke. Show no mercy. Your time, but don't waste it.
I don't know. This one. Ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> We're just having fun. Uh -huh. Who will it be? <laughs> Naughty child. Just in time. Just a little something. Don't use enough. More business, eh? Uh -huh. Scared yet? Who will it be? Naughty child. Someone there. I see you. our chance. <laughs> we cannot let such a sinful creature be. Smell of sin. I shall be the judge. I've no interest in that. By the come. will of the Ten Lords. The Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. <laughs> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Too late to repent. We count. Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. This is serious. Still in denial? I shall be the judge.
Nice. How is everything? If you're ready, let's head to the Washtopia.
Everyone has a colorful past, wouldn't you say? Life's just like a game of tiles. You never know what's gonna come up next. In the obscure prophecy of dream, a star from the heavens has enlightened my path. Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... Welcome, outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Yes! Mr. Sparg and I spent a long time coming up with a suitable name. Ew! Pascal! Good! I am called Name! Oh, look! Pascal is greeting you. It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Sparog, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparog. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Sparog, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Sparog earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. 
According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. It's the same old place. Everywhere you look, there are robots that have lost the ability to function. Hey, big brother, take a look over there. Turn it up. You won't get away. is yet to come. <laughs> this is an automaton direwolf, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. Take it with us. Hmm. 
Then all that's left is to drag the shelf back. It's okay. I'm strong too. I'll tuck the corn a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So... I'm going to try to fix them all. Thank you... for understanding me. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except... there are a lot more than Mr. Sparg and I can handle on our own. But I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. You. It makes me happy to hear that. Ah, uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Svarog and Pascal will get worried. my further analysis of this robot. Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Ear. It appears so. I'm not sure what he's trying to say, though. While we were talking, the robot's failure rate increased. We should activate alert mode. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to rivet! Fire! Fire! Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell.
Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry, it won't hurt. to pursue this one. No, Mr. Svarog, please don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong... Please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog. shirk my responsibilities. I'll do it. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. I feel... a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svarov. Mr. Svarov? I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way... I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svarag anymore. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Svarag. So... let's go! Grizzly robot? Let's go take a look. Pascal, who did this to you? Pain, hurt, pain, hurt, pain, hurt, hurt, pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? How 
is that possible? Pascal is obviously a robot, just like you. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. No, it's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. Hostility detected. Commence elimination protocols. Oh no! It seems to think we're its enemies as well. Watch this awesome move! Keep up! You won't get away. You can fight it! Or rock with it! You won't get away. Not kind. robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm... I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now. Let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Language module. Connect. Connecting. Connection. Complete. Testing. Verifying. All modules. Working. Connected. Welcome back, everyone! Finally! Pascal has been waiting. Pascal, you're back to 